All right, welcome back. This is Parasite Eve. This is that guy in right. This is Let's Play Parasite Eve 2. In the last episode, we went into the shelter, and now we're down here in the parking lot area. So, control panel for the powered garage system. Hey, it's on the left, the key here. Got a car key. It's an electric car key. So, let's examine the panel again. The lamp is on. The panel seems to be operational. So, this is actually kind of a puzzle, but they don't give you a clue. So... And you gotta press the call button. Huh. Okay, we gotta press push red, green, and yellow. Now we press the call button. All right, the lift should bring us something we could use. Fuck your, fuck you. Ah. <sighs> All right, gotta find something I can waste. Discard. Okay, discard, yes. Alright, got a belt pouch. This is probably the last one in the entire game. We're pretty close. I can taste it. Alright. There's that. Now... Now we just... Now we gotta go back to the damn call box thing. And we just press blue and yellow. Well, gotta reset it. And there we go, blue and yellow. Huh. And there we go, there springs up brings us our car. Let's get the hell out of here. Wait. Hold on a second. Huh. Actually I think yeah, we're over here. Yeah, there's something over here. Yeah, right here. Panel controls the shutter. Huh. Stop the vehicle on the turntable. Pass the ID card through reader. The gate will open. Okay. I think... Yeah, I think we need to use the Bowman's card. What the fuck? Huh. Come on. Oh, gotta, gotta put the car on the turntable first. Duh. I can't remember. This has been a while since I've done this part. Let's ride. Key fit. If the key fits, I sits. Oh. Damn, I was hoping they'd have, like, Grand Theft Auto control, like, just pull it out. Okay. What about. What am I doing? Key item. Bowman's card. Use. Open the door. There we go. Electric car. Let's get the hell out of here. Hmm. Well, that wasn't much. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, there should be... Where, where are we? We're on the first floor now, okay. Yeah. Oh, you. Fuck. Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, you fucker. You're lame, you lame motherfucker. Come on. Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck. I don't want to die yet. I don't want to die. Five minutes in, I don't want to frickin' die. Seems like I'd be better at this game by now, but no. Come, get the... 
I hate these guys. Fuck it. I don't give a damn about my BP anymore. We're almost at the end. We've... Fuck it. <laughs> Oh god damn it. At least Okay. Come on. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. Ugh, fucking hate I hate this I hate the paralysis status effect. Yep, dead. Alright, let's try that again. Come on. Seems like it'd load faster with it being on a heart being loaded off the PS3 hard drive. Damn, that didn't take. Seems like that would have like stopped them for a second, you know? Fuck your Fuck your paralysis. Fuck it. Come on. Yeah. Alright. Don't God. Okay. Okay, well, that helped. Thank you. Okay. Oh, come on. Thank you. And you're down. It's not going well for me. Okay, well. I can heal. There we go. <laughs> okay. What do we have here? I remember this bike. It's from the mines, isn't it? Number nines? There's that leather holster at the bottle cap, Mark. This has to be his. Wait, this is Eve's. Her teddy bear. Hmm. That, that bastard. Uh, please excuse her language. She's under duress. And I can't go. Can't go this way. Huh. Yeah, I can't do anything with that. I have to keep on going through here. It's a, pain, it's a pain in the butt. And I believe we have to deal with another invisible golem. Okay. Huh. Press it. Well, something moved. <laughs> fancy cutscene mixed with non-fancy graphics. Alright. Crap, I got a feeling there's gonna be something bad here. Oh shit. Release the lock. Now to use the panel. <laughs> yep. Oh crap. Oh come on. Oh crap. This is not gonna end well. I'm gonna die. Yep. Alright, let's give this another shot. Release the lock. Now I use this panel. <clears throat> uh, this is actually the next day. I'm actually took a break because I was getting frustrated. Flustered. So Oh crap. He's already aiming at us. Alright. Okay, let's see if we can get get right behind it. Get get him right between us. There we go. I'll take him out. Ow. Okay, took him out. Now we now we just have to deal with the grenade guy. Oh. <laughs> Wonder if I'll get the bounty points for that. Crap. Huh, that's weird. It looks like there's Japanese symbols on that tanka. Okay. One more. One more hit. Two more hits. No, okay. Yeah, that's the end of that chapter. Ooh, got an item. Air burst rounds. Alright. Actually, how many minutes have we done on this episode already? <laughs> Seven. Yeah, I'd say around seven. Okay. <laughs> I'm just seeing how much time I need. 
I have. This panel opens the gate. Open the panel. Open the gate. September 6th, Daylight, White House, Washington, D.C. What's the situation on the front? Well, completely under control. Almost? What do you mean? We are unable to enter one sector due to biological barrier. Just like three years ago. It is very likely, sir. But we just received word that the MIST agency agent destroyed the barrier. Recon says they confirmed an additional new barrier, sir. <laughs> Around our objective, by any chance? We have yet to confirm our objective. It's possible. In the mole? We've received no communication. <laughs> what now then? We're at the end of our options. It's time for it's time for the plan D. A decisive strike from orbit could solve our problems in a split second. How much time should we allow for withdrawal? Unfortunately, there's no time left. They'll be buried in Arlington, proud heroes of the country. Hmm. <sighs> You're asking me to make the call. Mr. President, the fate of 260 million U.S. citizens is riding on this decision. I know, I know. Don't make me do stuff. Oh. Mojave Desert, Nevada. <laughs> they don't kneel, mitochondria! <laughs> First time you've heard of them? They're what mist is after. They're those creatures' main ingredient. What about the biological pollution in the shelter? By now the needle my kind of without hosts are grouping. They're looking for new hosts, searching for anything warm, live. Uh That's a hard story to swallow. By the way, it won't be a problem. Our men have full hazmat protection. I wouldn't be so confident. <laughs> they can also affect the mitochondria already within us. Actually, we did get a report of something other than the cyborgs. I would hope that you just Skype hasn't happened to my man. It might be wise to quarantine them and run tests. Oh, I see. It seems we have no choice. What about yourself? Will you be okay in there? 
Please excuse us. Excuse me. Excuse me, man. Blah 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 Eve Agent Brea Agent Brea I have some bad news We've completed a thorough search of the area but we can't find any girl or large man re meeting your descriptions. Same with the others. Mm, I see. Uh, have you secured the entire shelter area? Well... I'll be frank. You can be Bob. We've run in into an obstruction in one sector. We can't get in. I thought so. Might you know what it is? Yes. I should be able to get in there. Can I go check it out? Well, I don't see why not. The secured area should be safe. Yeah, I can't speak for the lower levels. Please use caution. Thank you. Alright, we're going to end off right here, and in the next episode, we'll be going down, going back down into the shelter, so this is that guy on the right, signing off. Have a good day.